Ooblitz is finally out in Epic Early Access. The Creature Collection adventure was first announced back in 2017, and many quickly fell in love with its echoes of Pokemon, Animal Crossing, and Stardew Valley. You've arrived in a town with nothing but the clothes on your back, hoping to start a new, ooblet filled life. The sleepy seaside setting of Badge Town consists of chatting to characters, fulfilling quests, growing crops, and of course, collecting ooblets. The mayor of Badge Town kindly gives you an ooblet to start you off, but there are 40 more to collect, expanding to a total of 120 if you include uncommon and shiny versions of each creature. Ooblets live a relatively peaceful existence, helping you maintain your garden and following you around town, but play some music and they'll burst into dance. Unlike the grassy patches in the Pokemon series, Ooblets gather around in small groups, hanging out until someone challenges them to a dance-off. These dance battles play out similarly to the card system in Slay the Spire. It's a lightweight card game where you draw from a deck and play actions to make your Ooblet dance and score points. Each Ooblet has special dance moves, which place certain cards in your deck, so by choosing different Ooblets, you can tailor it around how you like to play. There's nothing too serious about these battles, as they focus more on playfulness rather than any grand strategy. Ooblets are graceful losers. After you beat them in a dance battle, they'll give you a plant seed, letting you grow an ooblet of the same type. You can grow both ooblets and a whole host of different crops in the plot of land next to your house. Ooblets has a very helpful gardening mode that lets you view not only what seeds need watering, but also how long they have left until they're ready to be harvested. It's a little different to other farming games like Stardew Valley, Ooblet's crops can bloom at any time throughout the day, making it easy to switch up a daily routine instead of getting into the same repetitive cycle. It helps you break out of self-imposed schedules and settle into a more easy-going attitude. Away from your plot of land, the residents and shops of Badge Town are wasting with a seemingly never-ending list of jobs that you can help out with. There's a whole lot to do. Gift baskets to complete, characters to befriend, buildings to fix up, houses to furnish, clothes to buy, badges to collect, it goes on and on. Most of these quests are given to you by the lovely folk of Badge Town, with many of the missions unlocking new buildings and areas to explore. How quickly you achieve these goals is completely up to you. The overall tone of Ooblets leans very much into a cutesy eccentricity that fits perfectly with its round bubblegum visuals. It's clear that it doesn't take itself too seriously, with humour akin to Watam the Frog Detective series or Sock Pop's Bite Size Games but the language it uses can come across a little too cutesy, like a thick, syrupy milkshake. Many item names like Fructoses, Hopdobs, Nernines, Sorbets are a little bit too much. The creativity is great, but making sense of an item list that reads like something out of a Dr. Seuss kids book isn't easy or helpful. But although these names can be sometimes confusing, games like Ooblets suffer an unfair stigma that their cutesy aesthetic and gentle game design are vapid. But that's far from true. Ooblets understands the appeal of completing small tasks and the satisfaction that players find in that. After all, the repetitive nature of these quests is a feature that Ooblets shares with big budget open world games. It's an achievement system that congratulates you every step of the way, creating a deeply gratifying feeling. Thanks for watching PC Gamer. Stick around for more on Ooblets soon.